All right, we just got the camera trap all set up. Um, got the camera right here, right on the dam. It's just in front of the, just behind the trail that the beaver and raccoons and otters use to get from pond A to pond B. And I've got a light set up, if you can see it, right over my shoulder here, right there. That is the main light. And then I've got a rim light set up over here directly behind the pond dam. And uh, we're gonna shoot this at aperture priority. Um, most of everything I'm expecting to, to use this dam is coming through at night. So I got a lot of sky up in the shot. So we're gonna do aperture priority overexposed by I think a two stops. Make sure we get a good enough shutter speed to capture the stars in the frame. And then we've got the two lights to mix it up. So it should be an interesting exposure. I'm gonna come back in a couple of days and check it and see what uh, comes through during the night and see how the exposures look. Uh, like I said, kind of got an idea of what I'm, what I'm thinking, you know, um, a combination of natural light, uh, available light with the stars uh, or clouds during the night, uh, along with two flashes, a main light and a rim light. So I got two trail cameras up right here. I've got one um, actually just below the flash to see what crosses uh, the dam and the times and then I've got one on the other side right over here uh, That's set up to see if anything goes Down the edge of the pond see if I need to put a trap up over there. So thank you guys for watching uh, We'll come back and check this in a few days and I'll give you an update then uh, If you haven't subscribed yet make sure hit the subscribe button now uh, and let me know below if you think I will capture a good shot or not <laughs> uh, in this uh, camera trap. So it'll be just a moment for you, but it'll be a few days for me. So we'll see you shortly. Well, it's January 1st, 2022. Eastern North Carolina, short sleeve weather. It's supposed to be a high of 77 today, but we've got a cold front coming through and uh, it's supposed to drop. So 77 a high today and tomorrow or in the next day it's supposed to be a high of like 40. so if you don't like the weather in north carolina wait a day or wait 30 minutes in some cases but we're coming into this morning to check the camera trap i deployed the uh, camera on the beaver dam uh, about three or four days ago and we're gonna go in check it see how everything's going make sure everything's working like it's supposed to and uh, see if I need to make any modifications yep here comes the Sun uh, as soon as I walked in here to the swamp you notice last night we actually had last two nights we've had uh, actually quite a bit of rainfall so the swamp went from just a little bit way over here in the deepest part to looking about normal now so uh, that's always a good thing uh, <clears throat> and when I first came in I noticed if, I don't know if you can see it but let's see right over here there's a, a, a beige colored tree yeah right there uh, some pileated woodpeckers have came in and started working on that tree and a couple others in here so keeping that up here I might try to figure out a way to set up a camera trap for some woodpeckers I think that'd be kind of cool so I uh, didn't bring my waders today uh, which may have been a mistake so I got my boots on we're gonna walk down the dam and let's go check the camera trap don't like really walking down the dam number one you can fall in number two this is the path that most animals take so I'm kind of walking on their trail I don't really want to put my scent down I'd rather walk through the water but lessons learned now that we've got water again, I think we'll... Alright, there's the camera. There are waiters next time coming in. Alright, let's see if anything that works like it's supposed to when we walk up on this camera. Should start taking photos. Yep. And it did. Let's reach right here. Turn the sensor off. Didn't think about this. Uh, I would have needed my waders to track the trail camera, but we're just gonna let it run. All right, got everything off. Let's give it a check. Things nice and sturdy. Well, it's very simple. <laughs> Only took one photo uh, in three days.
can't quite tell what it was but uh, it was a 15 second exposure at night and the lighting looks pretty good so I'm happy with it so that all works um, I'm just going to modify my composition ever so slightly and typically what I do when I come in if I move the camera at all uh, I go ahead and refocus because I'm using manual focus go ahead and refocus uh, to make sure in case I bumped it at all um, but I use the back of the camera the live view to make sure everything looks like it's supposed to so. other than that everything's good now normally what I would do is I'd go ahead and I'd go over there and check the uh, trail camera to make sure we didn't miss anything well since I didn't bring my waders I can't do that so I'm just gonna modify my sensor ever so slightly um, and make sure we don't miss anything um, I'm gonna open up the one side so I'm thinking animals gonna come from this way uh, we're gonna make sure this is a little bit wider so kind of make sure it's a little safety thing make sure we're good to go so so a lot of times you come in and check a camera trap and it's this exciting nothing happens at all so we're gonna reach down here turn the sensor back on make sure we're good to go and see if we can get out of here now I went just a few feet past and now I'm in front of it <clears throat> I'm going to give it just a second to reset and we'll uh, kind of wave our arms around. There we go. It's all working. Now let's get out of here. I'll check back in another three or four days. See if we got anything. The Beaver Dam location is one of those locations that it will get something. Uh, I just have to be patient so I could probably leave this trap up for about a week and come back and I think that's what I might do so uh, let's get out of here and I'll come back in a week see you shortly now, let's see if I can get out of here without falling Well, the waders are back on. I'm slipping and sliding. We got some rain, y'all. Man, we finally got a decent amount of rainfall over the last week. And it has pretty much filled the uh, little pond in here, the swamp back up. And the water has almost breached the dam that the beavers have, uh, have built. And so, this is a welcome sight. Now, hopefully, stuff will start, animals will start walking this dam again. Uh, the camera we put on the dam has been up now for one week. And uh, we're gonna come in here, give it a good check, see if anything's come in here. Maybe we got some pictures of something unique. Uh, I just went and checked another tra camera trap. Didn't get anything. And it's late in the day. I'm losing daylight, so I'm gonna try to get in here quick uh, before I lose all my light. So uh, let's see what we got. So I got the trail camera set up right here. So we're gonna check this first. See what we got. So 
based on the trail camera footage, we had a few uh, long slender animals cross the dam really quick. I don't know if it was an otter, a beaver, or a muskrat. Don't know. Um, but it, it flew across really quickly, I think probably when the camera fired, so we probably spooked the tar out of something. <laughs> so we'll, uh, now let's work our way over here and see what the old camera trap was able to document. Don't like we had many beavers or raccoons crossing the dam, but that's all right. We'll, uh, see what we got. All right, everything still works. So it appears the mystery animal was a muskrat. It darted across the dam pretty quick. Not much else other than a squirrel or two. But I am able to see that I'm not 100% happy with the composition at night. So we're gonna make a couple of modifications and uh, change it up just a little bit and we'll work our way back out.
So it's February. It's February, but it sounds like spring. It's uh, got the birds calling. It's kind of it's cool. It's in the 40s. Not bad today. Actually, it feels pretty good to me. Come in here, checking the beaver dam camera trap, and try not to woo. Try not to fall. Let me pause for a second. In here today to check the beaver cam camera trap and uh, see if we got anything. We just left the camera log that's in the swamp a uh, quarter mile down uh, from here. But it's uh, it's been nice. We've had some pretty decent luck uh, with this beaver dam. I mean, it's it's hard to beat it. Uh, pretty much every animal that walks that wants to walk through the swamp, it's going to take the the top of the beaver dam to get across. Um, we did get a couple of photos. I had misfocused using a macro lens. It's difficult to exactly pinpoint uh, where to focus. And when you're trying to get stars, you're going to use you know wide aperture as possible, so there's not much wiggle room. I actually had a gray fox and a coyote uh, walk across the dam, but I ended up missing the shot because they were slightly out of focus. A couple of raccoons the same way. So. Uh, I've kind of abandoned the the idea of getting a lot of stars, so I stopped down the aperture to 5.6 f/8 sometimes to incorporate more in focus. That way, I have more wiggle room. So, may not get as many stars as I'd like in these shots, but it's just what I had to do to make sure I got my subject in there because such a wide path. Um, I don't know exactly where we're going to be, so they got to be in the exact right position on the dam to be able to capture them and the stars at the same time. So, coyote picture would have been amazing. Uh, it was right at sunset, just a little after sunset, so had really cool colors in the sky. But um, he was out of focus, so no bueno. All right, let's get in here. Enough talking. Let's see what we got. All right, let's check the camera trap real quick. Excuse me, trail camera. Trail camera trap. Hey, got a daytime otter. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like the bobcat came. What do you do? So based on the trail camera footage, bobcat didn't come through. Couldn't tell if it was flashing at anything that did walk through, but we'll find out now. <laughs> All right, so only got one light firing, so that's not good. Oh man, so close to getting the otter. He had just crossed over the dam, so I pretty much got from his side of his face and the rest of his body. So close, that would have been an awesome image uh, if, uh, if the, the sensor would have seen him a little sooner. Man. All right, so unfortunately we didn't get much on this set. Um, had a couple possums come through. Um, pretty much every night, beaver and possum comes through. Uh, the otter would have been phenomenal to catch. Uh, we did get the moon setting behind the dam, which would have been really cool, but uh, unfortunately only one flash was firing. So I'm kind of glad the bobcat didn't show up um, because we wouldn't have got him. So <laughs> I'd have probably been more upset that we missed the shot than, than him not coming through at all. So I'm, hey, I'll take the little, the little win, I guess. But um, hopefully this was just a couple days he's uh, came through at that other trap. So uh, I'm... I'm positive he's still in the area, so I'm hoping maybe he'll pass through in the next night or two and we'll have some fresh batteries waiting for him. So uh, it's kind of cool that the uh, otter showed up. So um, just maybe they'll come back through again during the day. That, that'd that be really, really awesome to get a, a great otter shot. So um, we've gotten some really great images from this set of raccoons and, and possums, uh, squirrels. A lot of birds have visited this set over the last month or so and uh we're still waiting on that good uh really good bobcat or coyote image like i said earlier we had that coyote cut show up a little while after sunset and got a phenomenal shot potential uh he was about two foot uh too far back and so he was completely out of focus really awesome colors in the sky uh, but unfortunately it didn't work out so but I thoroughly enjoyed the set. We're going to keep it right here. Uh, I don't see any need to take this one down. I like to see what all, I mean, over the you know past month or so, we've had mink, the otters, and the beavers, and the foxes, and every, everything's in this area. Um, just got to hold out. Got to be patient. So 
Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in, watching the videos, all the good emails and comments and messages I've been getting from everybody. I just really appreciate it. Got a lot in store uh, coming up this year, or the plans are anyway. And uh, we're going to we'll keep doing more stuff like this and some stuff that you guys have been wanting. And we're going to more on that later. But uh, I just want to thank you guys enough. I can't thank you enough. I just really appreciate you. So if you're new here, be sure to hit the like, the subscribe, share it with your friends. Got a goal. I'm going to try to hit 5,000 subscribers this year. That's the goal. And uh, see what we can do with it. See if we can take it off. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time in the woods. See ya.